Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, welcome back. We're playing some Teamer Adventures. This deck is probably one of the cooler decks in Standard, in my estimation. Uh, I really, I really like all the card advantage and the the sweet, sweet engines that this deck uh, this deck has going for it. If you have Edgewall Innkeeper, the creatures here are usually just two for ones. But considering you've already got a spell, like if you play Stomp, that's one spell. And then if you play the creature and draw a card, that's two more. So it's these are usually three for ones with Edgewall Innkeeper. Innkeeper? Innkeeper? And then if you have Lucky Clover, it's basically the, the opposite, where the spells, you get two versions, and you cast the creature. So again, it's a three for one. Like So so depending on which one you have of these, if, if not both, um, all of your adventure cards are basically three for ones. Escape to the Wilds is typically a four or even a five for one, because uh, you're usually able to cast most of the cards off of it. I am going to exchange these lands for Theros lands, because I actually really, really like these. And without having the beautiful unhinged lands, which is uh, my biggest MTG Arena regret. These would probably be my next best land. Alright, so you also have uh, a Great Henge, which is nice. One Summon, one Red Cap Melee, one Mystic Repeal, one Graft Digger, one Shadow Spear, one Aether Gust. One Disdainful Stroke, one Negate, one Fling, one Return to, no to Nature, one Storm's Wrath, one Escape to the Wilds, one Expansion Explosion, and one Mass Manipulation, and one Failed Passage. Uh, obviously, this is for the Fey of Wishes package. I just want to send each of the new Unsanctioned Full Art Lands. Now, I don't think I, I don't, I never play with Foil Lands, but um, this deck looks fun, so we're gonna, I'm gonna actually put, uh, I'm gonna put this guy as my. Oh yeah, apply them styles. Apply them Julia styles. You guys remember Julia styles? She was in 10 Things I Hate About You. And the Born series. <laughs> Are the unsanctioned lands... Let me see. Oh, yeah. I've seen these bad boys. Man, five bucks each. Woo! I guess they're like four twenty nine on like TCG player. That's where I just looked. Oh, yeah. These look good. It's literally like unhinged and unglued combined. So that's interesting. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you keep any lucky clover hand. Well, remember that time I was like, I don't think the blue-white deck is that prominent. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's a band deck. Well. I think we're going to go Beanstalk Giant first, now that we have this Lucky Clover out. Red. Resolve. Get another red. Oh, we should have got a green, right? Like, they come to play untapped from the beast? Yeah, that's real good. First misplay of the day. Of the dickety day. Um... I don't know what they're doing over here, but... Give me two one ones. Um, You're going to cost four. One, two, three, four. I kind of want to keep up Aether Gust. So we're probably just going to play you for three. And assume they're gonna shatter the sky, which is still just a one. It's actually a none for one, right? Because like we we get our card back. Do I care about this? No, no, I do not. I mean, we attack for seven here. All 
All right, what are we getting here? Um, negate seems good. And disdainful stroke seems good. And now we're like playing with multiple multiple counter spells. Crassus for five, huh? Well, this part resolves. We can work at night by night. Alright, so we can actually play two lands. Lucky Clover. Breeding pool, pay two life. Other land. I don't know which cards are made by the... <laughs> which are made by the thing, unfortunately. You got a mana up. Okay. They have three mana available. So not terribly scary. Okay, they didn't do anything. Um I I think these are all adventures now. Like I played three lands off of this, a lucky clover, and I thought that was it. I can't actually tell. Six seven. We can work at night fine. Okay, so if I try to play this guy, it gives me the option, but not until I actually. Ugh. Okay, good. That was actually. A... It was hard to tell. There was no way to tell that this was an escape from the wilds card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana up so we can negate and then still pay for a mystical dispute if need be. But if they want to go Nissa, Dream Trawler, huh? Yeah, alright. Discard two cards. Yeah, we can easily discard Stomping Ground and like Edgewall Innkeeper here. Pass. Um, stomping. Edge wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to cost four. Oh, alright. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Okay. We can work at night by night. Okay, so... Uh, either of us seems very, very good. Great Henge seems kind of meh. Probably cut one Bone Crusher Giant. One Fae of Wishes. I guess we actually want to keep the... The sideboard as is, right? Like... Yeah, I don't think we actually sideboard anything, I guess. Because having Fae of Wishes is kind of like having four copies of a negate, I guess. I mean, like, drawing your one of negate doesn't seem very likely, so. Well, Innkeeper first isn't going to do anything, because Innkeeper only, only triggers if we're actually casting the creature. Not casting the adventure half.
Um, yeah, I would like a Lucky Clover here, but... It wasn't meant to be. Play this beanie boy. I'm gonna keep up Aether Gust here. I don't know what they're gonna play on turn three. I should have filled my water up. What a dummy. I'm doing this now because I don't want them to have a mana advantage here. Instead of us. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Double Beanstalk Giant gives us a lot of mana. Never mind. Still got a mountain. Play this guy. I mean, there could be a lucky clover on top, right? That'd be pretty cool. Tarifi. One, two, three, land. Hmm. <laughs> Is our sideboard good enough to get rid of a Tefri at five? Not really. I mean... Um, that's all we're going to do, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Nola Rafiria? Who the heck is Rafiria? <laughs> well, they only have three cards. I have to assume at least one of them is land, right? They only have four cards. I have to assume one of them is land, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Okay, Brazen Borrower on forward. So, Breeding Pool and Brazen Borrower are the only ones that are... What is this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana? This deck makes a lot of mana uh, with... Both Escape to the idea. Wilds and Beanstalk Giant compared, combined with uh, Lucky Charm. Rafiria was my cell phone speaking in unknown languages. Knew it. So Brazen Bar is the only thing we have to actually play here. But I don't want to play it on this. What do you get? You get this guy? Yeah, that's actually fine. I guess we could just play it, right? When do you get you until the end of your next turn? Yeah, we're just going to play it. Uh, one, two, three. That was fascinating. One, two, three, four. Mm 
I mean, this doesn't strike me as a deck that plays a lot of board wipes, so... He says right before he gets board wiped, Shatter the sky! I mean, Love Struck Beast is good to put down when they shatter, because then you get a free... Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got four here. If I had one more land. Okay, everything to the right of Beanstalk is where we want to be. Oh shit, that was, I, I was like, why did it cost that much? And then I figured out why. Oh god, they get to have right back with the stupid Elspeth Conqueror's death anyway. That was stupid. Now they just get a free block here. Oh, okay. I don't think they heard me. Oh, did they just hear me? Okay, that's fine. They can get Tefri back. I don't, I mean, like, it's fine. I'm surprised they didn't get back in the Night of Autumn, though. Yeah, I guess actually Tefri might be better because they don't get back Night of Autumn in that case. I mean, we're really, we're trying to get mass manipulation with this guy. I've got it. By Jove, I think he's got it. Okay, so. Stomping ground. Pay two life. Okay, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. This puts us to 9. We got one, two, we do have the four blue. You gotta counter this. Sure. Oh, bloody biscuits. This guy. Uh, X is two. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're one shy, aren't we? Maybe we just take this guy. That seems good, right? Oh, but then they bounce it with Teferi. Um, or not. Hmm. Oh god. Oh yeah, you can still I was like, wait, did I mess up? No more games. But we did not mess up. Okay, that turn actually turned out pretty well. Sure, we get to draw a card. The one one also let us draw a card. Oh, that guy's just going to the trash can, huh? Yep. Seems good. Yeah, sure. That does not do much.
Okay, so Teferi is going to prevent us from countering things, but I still think we want to counter things. Or we can just play Expansion Explosion and kill him. Uh, that seems good. Nagate. Okay, so Teferi's at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So I want to keep two up. That's just unexciting though, right? Teferi doesn't do anything next turn, so why do I care? Um, let's play Beast, because if they do Shadow of the Sky again, uh, Bone Crusher can at least attack by himself. I mean, our hand is Mass Manipulation, Negate, Explosion, Expansion, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. So, I don't feel too terribly about our situation here. Is this my first? Is this first round? Yeah, that's fine. And we still have mass manipulation in hand. They have one card. The land fights for us. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we still get to keep up four. Hmm. I'm tempted to kill Teferi for three. Draw three cards. Uh, auto pay, you're going to do two blue, two red, and three green. Yeah, that sounds perfect. And now we're going to do this for two. One and two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. If they, don't, if they can't counter that, it's probably game. Uh, untap a breeding pool, keep up negate. Attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Seems good. Uh, Reclamation doesn't seem that great just because we're not... We don't have that many instants, right? Like, we're not playing that many things on their turn. Excuse me. Bless you in these dark times, Preach. I will keep seven here. This is a hand. I like it. Look, even our opponent's like, very good keep, and I was like, thanks, man. The right stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Make a one drop. Attack for one. Damage. Got him. Absolutely just got him. Just crushed him. Okay. I like it. I mean, with two mana, I feel safe playing this guy and drawing the card. We definitely want to hit a fourth land here. 
And next time we can stomp ground beanstalk giant. Eventually they will shatter the sky, I'm sure. Good old Tarifi. You bounce love struck beast? You get to draw another card. Bounce the innkeeper. Let's get let's get a red here. Um hmm. So do we play the innkeeper and sh and, and assume they're gonna shatter? No. I don't think so. I think we got enough pressure on the board where we don't need to play Innkeeper here. We can actually just... Because, like, if we play any of these as creatures, we can probably play Innkeeper in the same turn. No Shatter of the Sky, huh? The right stuff. They're at six, and we have to assume that they're going to shatter next turn. Let's play like this. We'll get another island, because blue matters. One, two, three. I'll just end the turn. Shatter the sky. Okay. Jeez, now I feel bad. Okay. Well, that's the game, boys. Again, sideboard is like <laughs> all one of's, so I'm not really in a position to like board anything in. Oh boy, this hand does not seem great. Aethergust is actually a blank, so is Great Henge. Yeah, we'll ship it. Uh, this seems better. I'll definitely put one of these back. Alright. Out, am I? God, they're just rubbing in my face now. Now you're just being rude. The right stuff. Cool. Yeah, so next time we can go Lucky Clover, Bone Crusher, get Teferi, and your wall if we wanted to. Let's try this. Assuming you don't have a counter spell and do tap out. Sure. Still killing still killing Teferi. Oh, 
my lucky clovers. Oh, I like lands. Hmm. I think we just pass Brazen Bar or bounce both of these. I mean, we can actually fave wishes for three. Get land, counterspell, counterspell, which seems pretty decent. Sure. I want to play this because we haven't played any lands yet, so if they don't have another counterspell, they never fucking don't, though, do they? Don't not have it. That doesn't even hit anything. Oh, that's great for us. I wish this was an untapped land, then we can play both of these. That would be pretty solid. Um... Just play Clover. Play this, keep up brazen bar. Wow, that's a nice one to put on the bottom. You are irrelevant. Irrelevant. Sure. I mean, it's going to cost six next time where we get to draw three. Not terrible. Sure. <laughs> non creature spells, huh? Alright, do we just want unsummon to get rid of this dude? Furnish target creature, planeswalker, sack of land. Yeah, we'll get that guy. Let's kill this idiot. We'll get a negate. And we'll get a mass manipulation. Oh, it costs two more, but I guess it's an instant, so. Uh, no attacks. Sack of land, we'll get rid of the mountain. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I assume they just bounce Lucky Clover. Or bounce Brazen Bar, but that seems pretty bad. No, I am not making this up as I Interesting. Go. I took it. Played a second temporary. Oh, what? Did they just play Shatter the Sky? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Alright, well, 2-0. 2-0 with Team Adventures. This deck is sweet. We're now at Silver, guys. So if you guys are watching, we're, we're crushing it. We are absolutely just demolishing all the things that stand in our way. I think he actually played it because he's like, look, I have nothing. Like, you have a full grip. You have... A 
uh, mass manipulation. I, I, I feel like it wasn't it was less of a shame scoop, more of like a I have nothing scoop. Which is fine either way. <laughs> if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore or manatraders.com or Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. All the links and promo codes are down below in the description. And uh, Mana Traders, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with a link and promo code down below. So be sure to use that. It's a great way to support the stream while also getting a real sweet uh, subscription-based service for Magic Online where you can get uh, cards for Pioneer, Modern, or even Standard if that's your... Oh man, Edgewell Innkeeper and a Bone Crusher? And they play double planes? Oh, baby. Well, that was a good draw. I wanted to hit a land, and then I hit a land. I just kept thinking I could never live without your lands by my side. I spent oh so many nights just thinking how you had so many lands. I was like, why got so many lands? I'm gonna resolve this guy. Oh, do do. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think they're going to concede. They had a family, I think, maybe. Good gravy. I almost forgot to tell you once you asked me why I was making fun of Brazil's mail service. I have news to tell. Oh, let's hear it. Thank you. Let's hear of that Brazil. Erk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 19 months. What up, my dude? Yeah, it is definitely early. It's 3.46 a.m. over here in beautiful, beautiful Utah. Interesting. Interesting. I don't want to play any of these creatures. I guess we just Fae of Wishes for Fabled Passage. Because that gets us a land drop. Fabled Passage. And then the second one, what do we get with that? Mystic repeal because of this, buddy. Let's go get you. Crack you. Get a forest. Repeal this ugly thing. And good lord, this deck is great, dude. I ordered some cards for my Felton EDH when the order arrived and I opened it. You won't believe it. There was only one card within it. And it was a Yu Gi Oh! What the fuck? Dude, that's so sketch, man. That's so sketchy. Like, they're like. Put a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card in there. Can you? What do you know if that was the store or if that was the 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 postal service? Some random worker must see that was MTG related order stolen. That's so because well, like they would have to have a Yu-Gi-Oh card on hand. You know what I mean? Um. Okay, Faye and everything to the right. I really wish there was a, a better way to to keep track. Pay two, pay two, clover it up. So three, these three is what we hit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven mana. So you can use five of it to Great Henge. We have two mana left over, plus two for the Great Henge. And then we can get... Uh, I never lived in Colorado. Katie, my girlfriend, lives in Colorado. But, um... I won't be in Colorado until June, July. I have had Rancheritos. Uh, it was good. It was real good. I had the nachos at Rancheritos. <sighs> this guy is a real son of a biscuit. Hmm... 
What we can do is bounce this guy. Fay of Wishes. Oh, actually, what if we bounce this guy, Bone Crusher Giant, kill both of these guys, and attack for a bunch? We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The foil card's worth 20 bucks and your order's about 5 bucks? That's hilarious, dude. Why would, like, that? none of this story makes any sense, Mark. This is like the most wild, like, Brazilian post story I've ever heard. Why is that a real thing? None of that makes, none of this makes any sense. Is this guy's cradle? Yeah, this guy comes down, but like, do you take Lucky Clover or do you take the, the cards that are lethal to you? Take that guy. Fascinating. Fascinating. Gonna get three lands from out of my library. Cause that's a reasonable thing to do. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever, just playing this. Everything to the right of Beanie Boy is good. Land. Uh, innkeeper, I guess. Draw another card. Just bone crusher. No, you don't die, I guess, if I do that. Yeah, you do. No, you don't, because that's not a... Okay, you're at one. And so even if you, like, rat the board, like, I still get my edge while innkeeper back and kill you? That's cool. I counted the seller. He's investigating if it was a mistake for an employee. Yeah, that, but after I told this to my friend, one of them is actually a certified MTG judge. He passed along the story, and then he started to receive statements of the same thing happening with other people. That's weird. It's like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Santa Claus that's like, I'll take your $5 in magic cards and give you $20 in Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Oh, not I. I kept thinking I would never keep that hand without my... I mean, Aethergust is a mulligan, but like... We got Lucky Clover into Lucky Clover and an Edgewell Innkeeper, so like every card is pretty much live. You got it. Big old Daxi... Oh, Jesus, that's so good. Oh, no attack. So if they play anything, we get to Bone Crusher, play Temple, get double value, and... Ugh. Boy. Alright, anything but that, I guess. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we still get to play Clover and Bone Crush. No blocks. If it's a land, yeah, we'll just keep a land. No Atakaruskis. 
If they play Charming Prince to Blink Deputy, that's going to be real sad. No blocks. Shh, no blocks. If they play Thassa to Blink Deputy, yep, fuck my life. Uh, yep. Never gets any easier. Let's create a human. Play this guy. Uh, no attacks. We're at 13. That's not a lot at all. What do you do? Just blink, but then tap another creature for four mana so you can tap this and attack for a bunch. Sure. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna bounce something. I gotcha. Gonna bounce my 1-1? One, one? That's just fine. It's just creature, right? It's not permanent. Okay. Scry 2? Sure. None of these things. So I can actually Brazen Borrower, bounce the Deputy, and then go shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, that seems nuts, right? That's good value. We get to kill everything but the deputy. But they did not kill the deputy. Um. That seems good. I mean, you get to replay Deputy, but that costs you your turn, so I'm not super concerned with it. No, Contemporary doesn't make it physical because you're not, you're not casting the spells, you're just copying them and putting them on the stack, which is not the same in Magic, in magic World. I mean, Beanstalk gets us one land. If we hit a land, we can go Beanstalk into Bone Crusher, which is probably fine. This Aether Gust in my hand is pretty... Pretty terrible here. Um, I can't do that. I kind of just want to try to hit a land here. And we did. We are good at this game. Um, I can't imagine they're going to shatter the sky. That seems real greedy. Because I mean, they give us back both of these, and I'm just gonna like play Beast and make a 1 1. Yeah, alright, seems good. I did not keep up either Gust Mana, guys, so. Hopefully that's okay. Four, five. I mean, I guess we're just attacking with both our big bigs, our biggins. Tap another creature. Oh, that's like your turn. Hmm. 
Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, do we just escape here? We can go three, play Beanstalk. We'll have one, two, three, four mana. I think escape is probably just the best option here. Okay, we'll play the two lands from over here. Actually, we can just play this one next turn. So we can actually do this. Pay two and play make a one one. So now I think Bone Crusher Island and Love Struck are the only actually Bone Crusher and Island. Because we played Island, Love Struck. Fuck, I don't even know. I think Beanstalk Giant is also over here. I think Beanstalk Bone Crusher and Island. Sure. None of these things are that are that scary. Okay. We got red, 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 green, 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 blue, blue, blue. Let's get another blue. Okay, I think Bone Crusher is the only thing left. They're just taking nine? Bonkers. Two, three, four, five. So we can we got four mana left. We can just play a beast. Or we can play Brazen Borrower. Yeah, I like that better because they only have Elite Guard Mage to block. So they either have to tap our guy or hold the Guard Mage back. Exos, sure. Pass. Pass. Spark double. Sure. Spark doubling an elite guard mage is pretty good here. Resolve. Resolve. Oh, and you get to blink it too. That's pretty good. This one ever enters the battlefield? Yeah, so they gain like four here. Jesus. Well. Lucky Clover. A little late to the party, but that's okay. Fay of Wishes, huh? So they go block here. I feel like this is the only safe attack, actually. So if we go fail, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 4 for this, and then we get to eat 2 things with a mass manipulation. There is a fling in the sideboard. Um... So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, we can go Beanstalk Giant, Fay of Wishes, Fling. That's actually a lot. Well, that's pretty good. All right, let's see if we can survive. They're at six. Uh, as long as we can survive, it's, we're probably fine. I think we're good. We're going to take five here. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill them because they're tapped out. Oh yeah, they just end-stepped. So they're gonna go to 11. 
And Beanstalk's gonna be like 13, 13. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's rude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly enough. Fling. And I don't know. Unsummon, I guess. Sure, doesn't I don't think it matters. Let's make sure we keep a red up. We're doing that. Land. Okay. <laughs> oh man, good times. This deck is pretty fun. Pretty fun. Let's claim them prizes. All right, guys, we're going to call it here because it's four in the morning. I'm going to get some sleep. But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank4, patreon.com slash frank4, coolstuffinc.com, and manatraders.com. All the links and promo codes along with the deck list are in the description below, so be sure to check those out. And if you use the link and promo code for manatraders.com, you'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. Three months is a good amount of time to test out the service, make sure you like it, which you should because it's great, and I use it regularly. And... Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later, guys. Have a great night.